Hey, love, it's Jay here from Omnipresent Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the solar eclipse that is coming up on October 14th. We're going to hop right into your reading. And before we do that, make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video. If it resonates with you, comment below if you feel inclined to do so. And boom. There you go. <laughs> All right, so let's hop into uh, what's likely lingering and unresolved in your life right now um, for this mid-month October reading and total solar eclipse. I have the Five of Cups. I also have the Judgment that's coming out reverse. Let's do one more card here, please, Spirit. Okay, we'll take that King of Wands energy here. Okay, so what's what's lingering unresolved in your life right now? Okay, Spirit is asking you to take a breath, okay, to take time to breathe out. I pulled this pre-shuffle for you here. Take time to breathe out, okay? Something that is lingering. Some of you are in this place where it feels like things are definitely coming out, coming down on you. It feels like you're trying to move, maneuver over to the other side of the bridge, but it feels like something keeps pulling you back. You're very focused on, on one thing, possibly a relationship for some of you guys, or this could be emotion that you may be holding on to, okay? I feel like you know exactly what it is. You may not be talking about it. You may not be um, really, or you may be in this place of really trying to process it because you're understanding that this is sort of lingering and it's unresolved possibly when it comes to someone, or like I said, just an emotion that you're holding on to. But I do feel with this Knight of Wands energy here, um, Judgment Reverse, Five of Cups, and that Knight of Wands, I do feel like with the Knight of Wands, this is um, energy of a subconscious. It's a subconscious energy that you're needing to let go of. And I do feel like some of you are in this place of um, consciously trying to align yourself with, with, you, with your truth. So that means letting go and shedding old habits, shedding that old self. But some of you are still holding on to this energy. That feels very comfortable, but it also feels very uncomfortable because you're moving into this new energy here. Okay, so for like for like I said, what's lingering for some of you is just unresolved emotions or under unresolved issues between you and someone here. Okay, someone that you could be dealing with from the past. I do feel like there has been a lot of hurt and regret. A lot of doubt about moving forward, a lot of doubt about this person for some of you. And um, I do feel like there could be someone that could be coming in to challenge you in some sort of way. And maybe this is you opening up to that conscious aspect of yourself here. Okay, so that is what's lingering, what's unresolved. Let's move into um, how can you process how can you process um, the unresolved energy? Okay, how can you process this unresolved energy that's coming up for you? We have the King of Pentacles coming out reverse. We have the Devil and we have the Seven of, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles here that also came out reverse. Okay, King of Pentacles reversed, Devil Energy, and Seven of Pentacles, or Eight of Pentacles reversed, okay? So how can you process this unresolved issue, okay? Oracles that I pulled for you, a romantic new cycle begins, the end of a tough cycle is ending, okay? So that's why I feel like this could be in, re in reference to, in regards to a relationship for some of you that you may have been holding on to from the past. That relationship could also be with self or, again, with someone else here. Okay, it could be an earth sign here that some of you are dealing with. All right, so, um, okay, ways to process this um, this energy is to be in gratitude is what I'm hearing. I feel like some of you have built a lot of things, okay? You've built, um, you've built success, you've built wealth, you've built... Um, a family, you build your own home. And I do feel like some of you have made a lot of money. Some of you have lost a lot of money and vice versa. Okay. When I say vice versa, you could have lost a lot of money and you are now regaining that money here. But some of you are focused on toxic thoughts and behaviors instead of really being in a place of gratitude. So this is how you can process some of this, some of these unresolved energies that you have lingering 
is to really step back and look at the bigger picture because this is a tough cycle for some of you guys to go through, whether you have lost something or someone or, or you're gaining, okay? As you lose, you gain. So I'm going to focus on the loss part, the loss aspect of this, being tied to something, an emotion or a person. And like I said, this is an, a person for some of you that you have put a lot of time and energy into this relationship. And it feels like uh, at this point, you may have to make a move. You, have, you may have to choose yourself here, Sagittarius, is this is the this is the way for you to resolve um, any of this energy that's just sort of lingering behind. Oh, I'm a little blurry. Let's see if we could bring this back for you guys. All right, so come on, come on, let's come back. Come back, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's see how you can detach from the old to make space for the new. How can you detach from this old self, this old person to make um, a room for the new? We have the will of fortune coming out reversed. All right, we have the Death card, and we have the Seven of Cups. Several major arcanas here. It makes me feel like you guys are really in this place of transforming your life here. Um, so, you know, this is these are ways of how you can detach from the old to make space from the new. Is letting go, <laughs> letting go some of these issues, some of these issues, these emotions, like I've already said before. But this, for some of you, this is a, a karmic cycle that you may be going through. And I feel like spiritually, consciously, you um, you are aware that you are going through a transformation that feels very uncomfortable. This is why I feel some of you may be a recluse right now. You may not be sharing. Some of you can't fully articulate what it is that you're feeling. So you're kind of holding on to something, but you realize that there is a change. There is a shift that is happening in your life. Okay, the death card here is definitely pointing to you letting go of people and, and really taking care of yourself. Okay, so there's this this there's a transition. There's also a metamorphosis that some of you are grieving the old self. Some of you are grieving a relationship that you have been in for a very long time and needing to move away from here. Okay, it feels like if you have been in some sort of karmic soul tie with someone that... Um, this is the end of a cycle, okay? And communication is going to be key for you. This is the card that I pull for how you can detach from the old to make space for the new. Communication is going to be key for you in moving forward in this relationship. Some of you have a lot of options. You have a lot of emotions that are invested into something or invested into a relationship with someone. And some of you have been left in the dark. You're feeling left in the dark, okay? So how can you detach from this is simply letting yourself mourn this old self, this old relationship, and really moving past it, understanding that there's really nothing else that you could do at this moment, that it is it is time. It is time for this death to happen, okay? And that is not a literal death. That is a figurative death. But it's time for you to mourn this old self or this old relationship and move on from that, okay? So let's see what, will, what your life will look like when you surrender to the change what your life will look like when you surrender to this change that's coming up for you. So I have the I have the ten of ten of wands here, the ace of swords. I'm sorry, the ten of swords, ace of swords. I love that energy here for you. So some of you have been in this place of feeling backstab, betrayed, feeling like you have been low, okay? And then the Hierophant, very interesting. I love that energy here for you, here Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Swords as well as that Hierophant that is coming out for you, okay? So what will life look like when you surrender to this change? There's going to be new revelations. There's going to be new breakthroughs. There's also going to be a coming together. So if some of you are in a relationship, this is a marriage, a marriage or some sort of you know, contract with someone, I feel like there can be some sort of agreement. Some of you have things to work through with your person and individually. Maybe there can be a coming back together. And for some of you, this can just be a karmic death where this is the end. But I do feel like it is civil. Okay. I feel like you move past that dark energy, that 10 of the 10 of swords there, and then move it into the ace of swords here. So now I feel like you have been knocked down. Now you are able to get up. Okay, that Hierophant is like 
this wisdom that is overcoming you, okay? So let's move into how you can, um, oh, another thing I pulled that, this card here, the meditate and contemplate card here is how, what life will look like when you surrender. I just feel like this meditation and contemplation feels like a clarity that you guys are going to receive as you're moving through these emotions, okay? Again, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and like this video, comment below if you feel inclined to do so, okay? So last one is how can you embrace this new chapter in your life? How can you embrace this new chapter in your life? We have the Queen of Wands, your energy here, the Two of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. This could also be an emotion. And then we have the Moon, Cancer energy here, also kind of like a Pisces energy as well. So believe in the impossible is how you can embrace this new chapter that's coming up for you. Believe in the impossible, which is beautiful. Um, and, and, and understand that when you break down the word impossible, it is, it's I'm possible. Okay, I'm possible. I believe I'm possible. Okay, so you believe in whatever you can you can maneuver through anything. It's possible to move through anything. Okay, so um, this new chapter again, I feel like there is. It makes me feel like a like a new energy that may come in for some of you guys, or there may be a, recon, a reconciliation, or a, um, you recognize what you already have, being in gratitude for the things that you already have, especially when it comes to a relationship, that I feel like it can take your relationship to new heights, okay? So this is for some of you, and some of you are just mourning the death of something. But again, you can be mourning the death of self so that you can have a new chapter in your, <coughs> excuse me, in your relationship with someone or this new relationship that you're developing with yourself. But like I said, I do feel like it's a new journey that some of you guys are taking here so embrace this change okay embrace the change that's coming up for you that's the only thing that the only advice that spirit is having is that has for you okay there is a new beginning here as I look at the moon you look at the two pillars on the side you see one and one <clears throat> it's like the number 11 you walking through a new portal so embrace this new chapter by just this new the new possibilities and believing in the, in the impossible and being in gratitude, okay? So just here is that is your reading. Happy solar eclipse. I will see you guys very soon for a November reading. Enjoy the rest of October, and I'll see you very soon. Many blessings. Love and light, guys. Peace.